This is Jeremiah Weinberger and he was Jeffrey Dahmer's 15th victim. Weinberger, a 23-year-old man with an eye for art and a passion for perfection, was living in Chicago, Illinois during the 1990s. He was originally from Puerto Rico and was a customer service representative at a video store, as reported by USA Today. His roommate, Tim Gideon, remembered him as someone who always kept his desk organized, was conscious of his appearance, and loved art. Tragically, Weinberger's life took a dark turn on July 6, 1991, the last day he was seen alive. According to sources, Weinberger met Dahmer at the Carroll's Speakeasy Bar located in Chicago. Afterwards, the two decided to take a Greyhound bus to Milwaukee, Wisconsin for a weekend trip. Once at Dahmer's apartment, he was drugged and injected with boiling water into his skull. This brutal act put him into a coma, which ultimately led to his death two days later. In an interview after Dahmer's arrest, he stated that Weinberger was with him for a couple of days before he died, but the second day he was in a comatose state. When he came home from work the second night, he found Weinberger dead with his eyes wide open. At that point, Dahmer moved his body into the bathtub which was filled with a bleach water mix. Towards the end of Dahmer's killing spree, he was committing a murder nearly every week. Dahmer killed Weinberger just days after murdering 20-year-old Matt Turner. During the search of Dahmer's apartment after his arrest, Weinberger's complete skeletal remains were recovered, along with his skull. Weinberger's father was notified of his son's death on July 25, 1991. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue to go through each of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims in the upcoming videos.